Hi, this is Cheryl McQueen, designer with Del Bellows Designs. Today I will be showing you how to figure the size you need for creating greeting cards. We will look at envelope sizes and teach you how to figure the base card size, the frame size if you choose to use a frame, and the art card size. The art card is the piece you actually create on. I will show you some of the standard sizes and then demonstrate how to figure out custom sizes depending on how you wish your final creation to look. Let's start by looking at some standard size envelopes. The two most common styles of envelopes are the A envelope series, which are designated with an A followed by a number. You will usually see that on the box um, when you are buying the A style of cards. The A stands for announcement. So they are for such things as invitations, greeting cards, um, and those types of, of things. These envelopes are usually a nicer quality, and they have a square flap, as you can see right here. And the, and the side dimensions are actually also, the flap is glued and is a square shape. So that is what most of the ACE type style of envelopes will look like. The other style of envelope is called the baronial envelope. Baronial envelopes are usually about the same dimensions as the A style envelopes, but their flap is pointed. And also the construction is more of a pointed style instead of the squared off style. There are six A-style envelopes that are acceptable to use for mailing. Um, this is, the chart here kind of shows you the sizes and then the designations for each of these envelopes. Um, this chart also shows it in millimeters for you if you need that. Uh, they, I will go ahead and post uh, a picture of this chart at the end of the video that you can refer to. So here are a couple of examples of the most commonly used sizes for cards. These are examples of cards that fit the A2 size of envelope and the A7 size envelope. So the first card that we will look at here um, is uh, the 5 by 7 inch card that fits in an A7 envelope. The size of this A7 envelope is 5 and a quarter inches by 7 and a quarter inches. You can see by looking at the card that they appear to be approximately one fourth inch smaller in size than the, the size of the envelope. So when you center it in there, you're going to have about an eighth of an inch all the way around so that your card will slide easily into the envelope. And then if you look at your second card, this is the A2 size envelope. And you can see again how there is about an eighth of an inch around the card so that it slides nicely into the envelope. This envelope size is three, I'm sorry, four and three eighths inches by five and three quarter inches. When I'm doing my creations, I personally like to work in quarter inch, inch increments. So I created this card with dimensions of four and a fourth inches by five and a half inches. So that makes um, my envelope maybe be just a little bit larger on some of these sides, um, but that doesn't matter. That way your card will slide in easier. Let's look a little closer at how to determine the card size base, the frame size, and the size of the art card. Um, which is, again, the card that you actually create on. We'll uh, work out those dimensions and I'll show you how to figure those out for yourself. First, let me say that this can get confusing. <clears throat> so I will put a chart at the end of this video that will show you the dimensions to use for each portion of the card so you don't have to figure them out yourself. But I'll also show you how to figure the dimensions for yourself, especially if you do unusual size envelopes. You might want to follow along and pause the video to help you get a feel for it and actually um, work on cutting out your sizes as we go along. The easiest way to think of this is that every piece needs to step down by a quarter inch. So let me show you what that might look like. 
So we start out with our envelope. This envelope is seven and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. So we're going to want to make our card be seven inches by five inches. When you actually cut out your card for your card base, it's going to be cut 10 inches by seven inches. That way when you fold your card in half, you will have the five by seven dimensions that you want. So when you look at your card base in comparison to your envelope, you see that we have that one eighth inch difference around the edge so that the card can slide easily into the envelope. But you will also notice that we are cutting our dimensions down by one fourth inch. So if you were to slide this over, you would see that you've got about a quarter of an inch. The reason you want to go down a quarter of an inch is because you want an eighth of an inch all the way around the edges. So now we have our base card size, which is the seven inches by five inches. So now we want to cut our frame to be a quarter of an inch smaller than our card base. Again, the reason that we are cutting it a quarter of an inch is so that we can have an approximate, whoops, I'm sorry, grabbed the wrong frame. Here's the frame. So the reason that we want this is so that we have our eighth of an inch all the way around our card. So that gives us a little border frame there. So again, card base, seven inches by five inches. Frame, it's going to be cut down one fourth inch, so that makes this be six and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. Finally, we're going to get down to our art card size. And once again, we are going to do this a quarter of an inch smaller. So as you can see, that's one quarter inch. So that when we center it, we have an eighth of an inch. So that means that our art card size is going to be six and a half inches by four and a half inches. So then that's how we get our layering effect. There's our frame on top of our card base. And then here is our art card that we will then stamp our image creating this kind of a look. Now, let's go ahead and think about if we have an unusual size envelope and what we do with that. So if you have an envelope that is not um, one of the standard sizes, that's going to be on this list that I'm going to show you, you will need to know how to figure out how to cut your card and your frame. And it's going to be exactly the same process that we just did earlier with our um, other envelopes. The thing that you'll need to do is start out by measuring the dimensions of your envelope. This one is five and a half inches by five and a half inches. Now with this particular one, it does tell me that on, on this package that I purchased the envelopes with. It tells me I have a five and a half by five and a half. I actually have some envelopes that were given to me that were just random envelopes that I have no idea what size they are. So once again, I'll just take my ruler and measure out so that I know what that outer dimension is. You need to know your envelope size so that you can step down. So, as we did before, we are going to take our base card stock and for the card base and we're going to cut that to the dimensions that we need to be one quarter inch smaller. So if we have a five and a half inch by five and a half inch envelope, our card stock folded is going to need to be four five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. Again, when we cut it, we'll just be cutting a five and a quarter inch by a ten and a half inch piece and folding it in the middle. Our frame, once again, quarter inch smaller. So this one is going to be five inches by five inches so that it fits nicely with to give us an eighth of an inch border. Same thing, we get down to our art card size and that goes a quarter of an inch smaller again. So that this card will be 
cut to a four and three quarter inch by four and three quarter inch. So as we talked before, you can see everything is approximately a quarter of an inch smaller. I know that I am repeating in this, but um, I'm hoping that that will help to make it very clear uh, because it is a very confusing concept sometimes. So, generally speaking, you will cut your card base to be at least a quarter of an inch smaller in dimension than the envelope if you're creating a fairly flat card. So, these cards, they, they're flat, they don't have any dimensions to them. But if you like to create cards that have that use dimensionals to raise up layers or you do several layers on top of it, you may want to go ahead and consider cutting your base card piece just a little bit smaller, maybe by about an eighth of an inch, because you need to allow for allowance when your card is being slid in for that extra depth that, that you're going to have. So for an example, if you have a... Um, five and a quarter inch by seven and a quarter inch envelope, which is the A7 size. When you cut your card base, uh, instead of it being five by seven, um, you'll probably want to go ahead and cut it to be four and seven eighths inches by six and seven eighths inches. That just gives you a little bit more room uh, to fill in for, for the thickness of the card. Finally, if you decide that you want a border that's larger than the eighth of an inch, then you'll need to cut again your, your card and your frame size smaller. So here you see we've decided, I've decided that I kind of like to have a quarter inch all the way around both my card and my frame. So this is where it can get a little confusing. So we're going to a quarter of an inch. So you actually need to cut down your frame and your art card by a half of an inch. The reason being is that you are adding an eighth of an inch on each side. So if we had our old original one eighth inch border, in order for it to be a quarter inch all the way around, we have to do an eighth of an inch more on this side and an eighth of an inch more on this side. Uh, so by doing that we're basically taking a five and a half inch envelope. Card base is going to be exactly the same, the five and a quarter inch by five and a quarter inch. Then our frame is going to be cut to four and three quarters inches by four and three quarter inches. So you notice that's a half of an inch smaller than the five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch card base. So that will now give us our quarter inch border. Then we're going to go ahead and cut this down even smaller. So we are now going to go to four and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch on our size here, which is again a half of an inch smaller than our frame. And that's so that we can be sure we get a quarter inch on all four sides. So this is how you will work out your increments if you're wanting to make a bigger border around on the card and on the frame. I know this is, again, sounds complicated, but once you do it a time or two, the steps will become very easy um, and, and you'll be able to do it quickly without having to think about it a whole lot. Again, follow along this tutorial if you'd like to and stop it along each st step of the way um, to make your cuts if you want to try them and make them the same dimensions as, I've, I've, um, as I have demonstrated here today. Um, I'm always happy to answer any questions that you may have. I hope that this will help you to be able to figure out how to make various size uh, dimensions for your art card, your frame, and your card base to fit inside the size envelope that you have on hand. Thank you so much for watching my video tutorial today. Remember to check out the DelBellosDesigns.com website for more tutorials on the design team page. I hope you have a great day.